my name is Busi Masweko from Barberton in Pumalanga. The main standing besides me is my husband, Lucky Maseko. Can you please tell us the problems that you're facing in your life that made you to come here? Uh, there were quite a few challenges with regards to our health and uh, yeah, just a bit of confusion. So we needed uh, God's word or direction is in our lives. So we, we got that here. Yeah. How did it affect you? It affected us uh, because it also affected our marriage, the married life, you know, our affection towards each other. So yeah, it really affected us because like the mind was not addressed. So yeah. Today by the grace. Um, he said we were attacked spiritually, so it was a spiritual attack on both sides, so that uh, God has delivered us, because he also prayed for us. So, yeah, we feel and we believe that it is all done, and then our lives are heading for the better now, for the best. Mm. Say, so as your wife has already told us the things that you are facing in your life, can you please tell us how did it affect you? Uh, as she said, that uh, it was affecting us uh, mostly affectionately because our mind was not at ease, so um, our minds were scattered all over. Yes. And um, your wife also spoke about this issue of uh, you needed the guidance. Did you get that? Yes, definitely. The man, the man of God uh, prayed for us and uh, uh, he gave us direction. With everything that he said, it was true, so he gave us directions. Mm -hmm. yes. And how are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm, feeling, uh, I'm feeling free. It feels like uh, something has been lifted up, uh, our uh, weight has been lifted off me. Words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there as I believe that God has done it for you today in Jesus' name. Uh, I'll say whatever they do, whatever problems that they face, they must put God first. Amen. They must all they must bring all their problems to God so God will take care of the, of the of all their problems. Amen. We give glory to Jesus for your life. We believe that you are blessed, you are free, and you are coming up with a testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm Vincent Masego, I'm from Babaton in Pumalanga, and I'm with my wife. Can you please tell us the obstacles, challenges that you were coming across in life that made you to come here? Whew. If I can start talking, it will take me the whole day. But anyway, um, no, no, the challenges were, hey, life was becoming difficult, unbearable. So yeah, so the only way to 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 overcome any obstacles is to have consultation with God. So yeah, that was. And that's when we decided to come to Cheret's Missionary Church. Amen. Because we heard a lot about the church. Amen. And. Uh, with all those challenges that you were coming across in life, can you please name one that you can say maybe financially or what, what, what is it that you are facing? It's financial difficulties. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you know, um, to, be, to be exact, I'm running my own business. Mm -hmm. It was once on top and then eventually some, it came down without knowing what, what, what are you doing wrong because you're still doing the same thing. Right, you're still meeting the same people, you're still doing the same the, the, the same jobs that I was doing, but there were no payments coming through. They, instead of getting paid, people make uh, they make promises and they don't keep. So and how did it affect you spiritually, physically? It will af it affected me spiritually because you know every time instead of spending time with your family, you know, um, thinking about the difficulties, 
you know, and it affects you. It really does affect you because uh, every time that uh, 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 when they they used of you now, you you taking them out to enjoy themselves. Now you you cannot afford, so it becomes becomes difficult. It affects everything: the children, your wife, every everyone around you. Yeah. And today, by the grace of God, you were able to meet Apostle JB on a one-on-one -on -one session. How was the experience? What did he say uh, regarding the problems that made you to come here? Oh, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm overwhelmed with joy because I know that uh, it's the past. It's the past. When I live here, I'm living with great joy. I'll definitely come and testify about everything that happened and the joy that I'm, you know, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot reveal it, but you can tell, you can feel that something has happened. Amen. Yeah. And when they prayed for you, how did you feel? That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. You, can, you cannot explain. You cannot explain. It's something that comes inside you that you cannot explain. <laughs> Words of encouragement that you can give to the viewers out there. So I believe that today God has delivered you and your wife and it has restored you to your original place in Jesus' name. Yeah, it, uh, uh, I, feel, I, feel, I feel I've been restored and everything that I've lost is going to multiply. And that's how I feel. As you came for the week of grace, what can you say to other viewers out there? You've got to hang in there and believe in God. Yeah, God um, always go to always comes to humble people. Always humble yourself. Don't forget to pray. Always pray. Just remember, every time whatever happens to you, it will come to pass. It's just that uh, we don't know the time, and we are human beings. We don't. Um, uh, um, when our faith get tested. Uh, we don't have that patience of of saying the time will come. We take wrong decisions, and but with the grace of God, if God if God lives inside of you, definitely it comes to pass. Yeah. We give glory to Jesus for your life. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>